All right, these are some uh, pennies that I have that are proof. And um, I'm using my digital microscope up on this. Actually, I have a thick book to get it high enough to get some uh, good pictures. So uh, hopefully they're coming in pretty clear. They look like very good, good on my screen. And I'm going to rotate this a little bit so you can see. This is a 1959. Is that right? Yeah, 1959 proof. Um, and that's the, the writing that's on the top. I can't really uh, maneuver this, uh, the book's in the way, so I can't get that right side off. But that's, uh, so just, uh, you can see from the date there what, what it is, and this is uh, the other side. Pretty, pretty nice, uh, the 1959, it's a very nice coin. Uh, so I'm going older to newer. So that's 1964. And I know... Uh, I like S's, and I kind of wish I had a 1969 S. That's uh, a lot of money if you were to sell it on, uh, online. Uh, we're going to go from uh, the early 70s to later 70s. So I love S's, especially proof S's. Uh, they seem to be worth a lot more money. That's a 70 S. That's the back. try zipping through these because it would be a long video with all of my have. That's an S. I take a really close look at these because uh, even some of the uh, proof proofs are uh, very valuable if you find an error, error on a proof. Like a double S or S over D or something like that. Um, it's a, I, I like the idea that you can see all the stairs in the back. It has a nice uh, gloss look. It's hard to coordinate which way I'm in this because the camera is actually at a 90 degree angle to me. 74S. And I'm uh, just zipping through these things. You can pause it anytime you want if you want to see them better. I'm trying to get away from the, all the lights that are on uh, the camera. Put six lights glaring into it. So I guess toward me is a little bit better. So this one would be a little bit off to the side on the camera. Some beautiful, beautiful coins. I haven't sent these in to get graded. Uh, and uh, I typically would send them in so, so the corrosion would not set in. Because if uh, the humidity gets on copper and zinc, turns all green and uh, one thing you don't want is black and green colors on your pennies. So I, uh, I mainly uh, send these in to, uh, now this is, a uh, send them in just to preserve them. Now this is a 1969 type one. And once again look in the cherry book and, uh, and it uh, tells you about how big the S is and how big the 7 and the 9 is, the type of the text, text that's on there, and that tells you what the types are. Okay, we're going to go into the 80s. And this is an 81 type 1. Nice and shiny. I love the shines. And as we get it, the nicer of a shine that it has, the better grade it's going to have when it gets graded. And of course, these are wrapped up in plastic. So plastic gives a little distortion or whatever to it. 83S. It's actually a lot better that I'm not at, my hands are not on that camera shaking so much because it uh, it's hard to focus sometimes and uh, keep everything and they're very hard to maneuver sometimes. Yeah, I made the attempt to uh, attempt to actually uh, uh, look down a mosquito's mouth <laughs> with this thing. Because it gets that close. So 
is a 86. I tried putting music in my uh, videos and uh, you know you try uploading them and then it comes up and says there's a license or something issue so uh, sorry if it's kind of dry let's see this for the 90s all right, it only goes up to 2,000. I stopped at 2,000, so no big worries. I'm going up to 2012. I do have them, though. I skipped 91 uh, and 92 because I don't have them. So in that case, if I want to prove I'm going to have to go on eBay or something to purchase them because the Mint doesn't have them anymore. And of course, there'll be a price to pay. So I just look at uh, estate auctions, see if anybody has has an estate auction. And most of the time, you'll find them already uh, slabbed or graded. So uh, people ask you, in some of the clubs out there, they'll ask you, "Why did you slab your coin?" And I tell them to preserve it. That preserves the coin. It eliminates the oxygen and the humidity from corroding the coin. Uh, it stops people from getting the fingerprints all over the coin. And I use uh, a lot of. There's times when I when I have really nice coins, I'll use felt gloves, or cotton gloves, to stop my oil on my fingers to get all over the coin. I do not like cleaning coins. Unless, of course, I find one where I'm out with a metal detector. So you have to clean it. This is the last of them, the 2000s. The 2000s uh, had a wide and uh, a wide AM on the P on the Philadelphia coin. I'm sure there's some other errors that I don't recall by memory right now. I don't have a book open next to me. Two thousand two. Okay, this is a cool one. Look at this. Faded three. Two thousand three S faded three. Proof sixty. That's uh, what I put on there because it is really good. That smudge is on plastic. But if uh, if you're looking at it with a more powerful, you know, uh, there is a faded three there, okay? It's hard to explain that now. You don't see it. But it is a faded three. And uh, the only way to really uh, ensure that is the coin crooked. Yeah, the coin's crooked in there. Uh, I have a nickel at the back. It's a, a buffalo nickel where the back is actually turned 90 degrees out. i got to show you that sometimes. Sometimes. I'm uh, I haven't showed that to you yet. Five, only one one coin left. Left. I only went up to 2006 on this. And here's my last of these type of things. See, I still can't get it in there just right. All right, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, get this stuck in there. And uh, subscribe if you want. Bye.